So yeah, we just listened to the staves, and I just realised I have heard them. They <laughs> were doing this thing for Bon Iver. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Is it Heavenly like Father? Yeah. For him, I think. I just recognised two one girl yeah. like doing that all the time. All the bobbin. The bobbin all the bobbin. Bobbin about one. And then I recognised the bobbin, and it yeah triggered. I'm triggered. <laughs> 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 I'm married to Faith in Heaven, Bon Iver and the staves. Mm. I mean. Oh, oh, I thought they were so actually married. Beautiful. Oh, right now. Oh, it's really. Polygamy. It's, uh, yeah, it's what they call it. Polygamy? Bigamy? It's a moment Bigger you? Bigger what? Bigger what? Bigger something. <laughs> Bigger. Sorry. Right, what are we doing? Okay. So, yes, yes, yes. So, we are going to move on from the staves um, onto a little bit of, what would you call this? Like country pop rock? Yeah. Country oh, pop yeah. rock. Perfect. That's Croc. <laughs> croc. Uh, this is a croc of talent. Hey! Um, this is um, the Eagles. So, not many, well, I don't know if many people would consider them like a big, big vocal harmony group, but they really it's were. So integral yeah. Five yeah. parts, yeah. like, but when you consider, when you like list big vocal harmony groups, they don't really yeah, pop up very much I for some reason. I think the focus was so much on the musicians as yeah. part of the band that they. I also, I think it's so seamless in the music that you almost just take it as another it's instrument. Part of, yeah. it's part, yeah. it is part of the sound. It's part of the sound. I think I think that's actually a big plus. Like something you aim. For. Well, I've got these in. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> something you aim for. I think, isn't it, to be yeah. almost like almost forget about it. Like it's almost yeah. so in the background. Yeah. 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 yeah, really doing your job well. It's another mm-hmm. instrument, like yeah. Getting that blend. Mm. That bland is all about the gold bland. So we are going to listen to um, the Eagles warming up backstage. Oh, it's only like 30 so seconds or something, but... Okay, the best 30 seconds of your life. It yeah. will be. <laughs> no pressure. So we are going to listen to, yeah, the Eagles. I don't actually, I can't remember what the song is, but we're just going to enjoy it. Okay, Sam. <laughs> you will enjoy it. You will compliment them. Oh, they- Sorry. That is all you need. <laughs> we always do that backstage, oh, don't we? A little God, like uh, so sing a little something yeah. to like get in the zone in and the get zone. connected. What's your what's your go to warm up? I feel for you. I feel for you. Oh, Shaka, I love that Shaka, song. Shaka, 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 Shaka. We had a really wonderful moment. At, uh, we did <laughs> yeah. a gig with Tom McGuire and the Brassels, and we were singing this backstage, hidden away from everyone initially. And then a few of the musicians were coming past with their instruments, brass instruments, and started playing along. Uh-huh. And it was like. This, this magical movie moment. I know it's over. And we keep it singing was. and we start to move down the stairs <laughs> and the videographer who was filming this whole concert as like a, for a small kind of documentary on the, the Brass Holes, it was like, excuse me, I just need to film Tom so you guys should just, <laughs> you guys should move out of the way. Also, I guess Tom around and we're like, he's going to film us. Back to reality. <laughs> this is our mo oh no okay. Yeah, yeah, get off, off screen. Okay. Backing so funny. vocalists. Get to the back. So <laughs> but I feel for you is what we tend to do. Yeah, that is, yeah. yeah. And that, that's, that's on, on your YouTube channel as well. Yes. We oh, well, yeah, also that. link the YouTube channel. Go and follow them. Go and subscribe. You don't follow people on YouTube. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Share and subscribe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> subscribe to their channel and go and listen to their stuff. Mm. But we, I did um, I Feel For You with Brother Man as well. Nice. Oh. It's such a It's such it a good show. It is We did a Prince version though, which oh. is a bit the same. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm. Yeah, I mean, like we do Shaka Khan. We do the one that goes Shaka Khan. I mean, there's Ooh, Prince, and then there's Nacho. <laughs> well, how about I feel for you off? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sounds fun. Oh, <laughs> I feel you come. off. I feel you off. Have, oh. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> That'll oh. be the well. next video. Did I just me too myself? You just me too the whole shebang. Hi, my name's Sam Scott Weinstein, and welcome to. Well, his face has just gone like. Okay, so the uh, yeah, Eagles. let's go to the Eagles. The Eagles, anyway, back to them. So, um, 
That was great. Their, yeah, their vocal styles are all blending perfectly. So, but I think they're matching each other's style. So yeah, it's it's like a read. It's like it's. I don't know why I use that word, but it's like it's like an actual instrument, like a, a sound, a wall of sound when the eagles sing. Yeah, mm. like a, like a timbre mean? that they're going for. Yeah, actually. and like the, it. it's like they're covering. It isn't just like one nice sweet area where they all blend. It's like they're it's covering like, an orchestra. Yeah. Like yeah. The area of it, they're mm. covering all the bases. Totally. Mm. So when they hit like a big sustain note, it's just like pure resonance. Yeah. 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 Wah, 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 wah. yeah. yeah. Love it. And again, absolutely can't tell. It's so perfectly blended. You just don't mm-hmm. know who's singing mm-hmm. what. And like you say, they're trying and they're, they're making sure they match each other. And it's the country sound as well. So they're, they're really fitting into a genre as well, mm-hmm. which is probably natural to them. Because, because yeah. I imagine that's where they, yeah. that's what they've probably grown up with and everything. But they are, you know, you, you wouldn't take that sound and put it in a, any other kind of song, mm-hmm. like gospel song or no. a twang. So, um, There's yeah. also some really like difficult vocals going on in that as oh, well. Yeah. There's yeah. one guy that's like way up into his like head voice. I don't even they're think it's controlled. like falsetto because there's not much air in it. It's like yeah. a nice ring to it. Are and they, yeah, perfectly mm-hmm. controlled. Are they West Coast? Are they from the West Coast? Actually. Oh God, no. I don't know. No idea. No, because it's just interesting, like thinking about, um, uh, like the, the accent, like you know, kind of because that when you think of the actual sound, it's it's very like twangy. Do you mm. know what I mean? But I'm I'm not sure. Oh, which, yeah, which maybe makes the actual blend so in your face because. Mm-hmm. It's quite an aggressive accent. Yeah, in a really good way. But yeah. you know, what I mean, it's like it's like in there, right there. But yeah. it's like, but not. It doesn't. I'm not saying that it's like an easel, <laughs> but it's just like. But in a good way, house. it kind of does. Yeah, it's, 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 it's really ringing. But like that, that yeah, that I mean American. I don't know about all over America, but your classic, what I think of as an American accent, is it's so twangy. And that's yeah, why and the musical yeah. theater and everything that comes through that's just totally that sound, isn't it? Which it makes people apparently from the little bit of. A still training I've done in other Oh, an astillion. Well, <laughs> uh, but that, um, uh, like, is, a, is quite a healthy uh, way to sing for your voice, actually. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. like, you can get a lot, you, you get so much power through no vocal effort at mm-hmm. all. Yeah. So, it's a really healthy, so, I don't know, I think that's maybe, also because there's a lot of people in America, but also the yeah. way they talk makes them quite good singers. <laughs> yeah, because it, like, it punches yeah, through so, a crowd, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, you don't necessarily need a mic if you're on stage and you're doing musical theatre yeah. and you're in a small theatre. Yeah, if you um, sing that way. Yeah, you just... I mean, and maybe why those top notes are a bit more effortless for him as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. Can, maybe it would extend your range if you're using. Well, you know, you can be yeah. on, you can do that to extend notes by just manipulating how you're singing. Them. Yeah, I do that in choirs a lot. Like try and get them to sing with more. In the choirs, I teach get them to sing with more. To where we do exercises where they're going like nyeh, 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 yeah. and all these like uh, horrible noises which they think is mad, and I'm always like, there's a reason I'm there's a reason. reason. <laughs> but maybe. Um, <clears throat> Just to get back to the Eagles guys. Oh, yeah. Um, <laughs> and, like, maybe they, I mean, instinctively went to that sort of sound to cut through because obviously there's, like, a heavy load of instruments playing as well. They wanted that to be a, a focus, so maybe they kind of instinctively went to that kind of blend to like, make mm-hmm. it cut through. And also probably where, you know, where you start this music, like in jam sessions and yeah. informal places with no microphones and stuff like that, you yeah. kind of need to learn to sing that way. And also they're doing this while all playing, so they don't have the yeah. added advantage of what we have, which we're standing so close and yeah. we're watching mm-hmm. each other. That's even harder, but probably trains that skill yeah. to a further level because they're having to be playing, but it's, so it's just a, that's almost that second nature to them. Yeah, that's the secondary thing they're probably thinking about when they're playing. Yeah, <laughs> but it's still perfect. Yeah, I think the underlying thing with any vocal harmony group ever, like the most important thing for me when I'm in with other people is mm-hmm. respect for the other people that you're singing with. Yeah. So like, over singing is absolutely a no no. Under singing likewise is a no no. Yeah. And, and you kind of have to like adapt your singing style to match everyone yeah. else's so everyone's shifting yeah. slightly in one direction or another yeah yeah um so you end up with this kind of like hive mind thing going on like playing yes. in a band you have yeah. to learn to know yeah. where the space is yeah. absolutely yeah and just and i was gonna say fill that space but yeah <laughs> i mean technically that's right it just doesn't sound right when i'm saying it's... it <laughs> 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 but like we've found that like with the accent thing whenever we're yeah. singing we found that we have to like. You say we. <laughs> <Sorry>. No. 
I we I had to that my accent. No, can you get like a cartoon arrow? (laughs) We have made lots of effort to change our accent. But like, 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 because I mean, if you look at the three accents that we have, (laughs) (laughs) like we all have different accents. Like I've got a messed up accent. Like Karis has got a beautiful like Persian accent. well, yeah, but I grew up in Edinburgh, and then that's oh, yeah. Glasgow as well, and I'm so a mixture lovely. of everything. I'm Perthshire. Oh, lovely. It's lovely there. I've been there. And, <laughs> and we've got this lovely, like, London yeah, accent, but yours is kind of, like, muddled as well. Like, it's now getting all, all messed it's, up, yeah. yeah. When I go home, I get, I've started saying things like, there and door so, and things door. like that. Yeah, putting oh, two nice. syllables. Door over there. Like, putting two syllables where there would only be one, yes. like... Because do do but still in do do yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the word art. Or before I just say up. Uh. Uh. It's just a sound. Uh. For the word A R T. So now I say art and stuff like that. But it's like it's interesting when we go to sing stuff and I don't know like like whenever you're doing a back and vocal session, like that's your job. You have to match whoever has hired you. Like yes. you don't sound like yourself. Do you know what I mean? It's yeah. like you have to manipulate your sound because at the end of the day, that is, that's why you're there, to be the wall of sound for whoever's hired you. Yeah, and I think, million. yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think that's what we do as a group, but, you know, we maybe just use a pair of our ears to, like, figure out what's a combined sound, you know, what's... Yeah, a middle ground. Or a middle uh, ground, yeah. For, um, and depending on who's singing, maybe lead as well on our songs anyway. Yeah. And, but yeah, yeah, exactly. Like you should find out how the lead singer or whatever your back it is that you're backing um, is saying their vowel sounds and things like that yeah, and match them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I think just like from doing that professionally, we, we, we put that into our sound, which is all part of making a blend is like, you know, you hear all the eagles doing it, um, yeah. and yes. it's, it's just an instinctive thing, yeah. I think. Um, yeah. Quite intuitive. Yeah. yeah. And, and a I, whole other skill on top of being a lead vocalist. Yeah. It's something. Mm-hmm. It's not just something that you get really good at singing, and then that's the thing it's you're just also good at. That's a totally different, skill. different yeah. in some cases, a I more difficult, I think, I think skill. it's definitely more difficult. Yeah. Have you heard, um, there's a duo, they're called the Civil Wars. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. They, to me, were so intuitive. You could just see the, um, the yeah. woman watching the guy, and she's mm-hmm. like, and he's gonna well. <laughs> yeah, she's yeah, like doing yeah. it too. It was a wee bit like she was just like copying him like a like a millisecond yeah. after. It was really cool. I don't know what happened to them. No, they were married and then they split then, up or yeah. something. Like no, that. they were married to other people. No, I think they were married. Oh my god. Do they know? I think they had a thing. <laughs> they, they, they had a civil war. <laughs> You're like, <laughs> I need to make some phone calls. <laughs> Shit. Hold on a minute. What happened to the civil wars? Yeah. Let, let, let us, us know in the comments. <laughs> comments. Comment I'm, not, below. I'm, I'm gonna forget about it in about two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I Memory need like to a know. sieve. <laughs> um, right, cool. So yeah, the eagles. Love them. Amazing. And yeah, I don't know. It's nice to. I think people often associate harmony singing and this kind of thing with with females. Females. We're talking about women, females. like females, <laughs> females of the species, and it's I, I love seeing um I love hearing a male harmony thing going on. Oh, love it! It's like one of the greatest the joys in the world. It's so hard to like, find uh-huh. and hard. To, yeah, yeah. Because I think harmony. maybe guys don't do it as much or something like that. But this, yeah. I mean, who Gorgeous nowadays special. is the third story? Um, really. And I think gospel stuff and religious stuff, that's a different thing because there's a slightly different yeah. um, mm. like goal with that. And well, especially in this kind of genre, like, well, in like modern genre, versions and of the And modern pop music, you just yeah. don't have that. Yeah. It's all girls. I mean, and if you think like, One Direction are actually singing in harmony, you're wrong. I guess like, so oh, they're not actually doing it. There's that video of them in The X Factor and one of them got his, like, broke his ankle and then he came in and he obviously didn't, it was One Direction. They oh, were One Direction, okay. Band Judges Houses. Oh. And he obviously hadn't had time to learn his harmony so he just mined but it was the main line he was miming so you could only hear one voice and he's like <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is brilliant that's what's going on nothing's fine I'm torn Oh. 
Miming, a whole other skill. Oh. <laughs> a very I, difficult I skill. Mime. Well done, boys. You I can't, can't mime. Do you know what the secret with miming like, is just saying the word watermelon? Just like in times. I thought it was rhubarb. What? Me. I thought it was Me. elephant juice. Oh, <laughs> 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 I didn't need that. I never rolled the game. Look at my eyes and say that. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how Do I feel if somebody said that. Do you believe me? Do you believe me? Oh my god, just I've never felt so good. Let's watch another video. <laughs> We're full of elephant juice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just uh, going to take my mug out. Wow, wow, that's what I've heard. <laughs> that's the word on the street. <laughs> I've got thought it's full of elephant juice. You need a, an R-rated version of just the... Just, <laughs> the of just me after. going... Something <laughs> else, dumb, I can see. I'm like, why are we... Going? I know, I can't wait. So yeah. what we're going to do is Being we're going to re... I think we should fill our teas up. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. And think where we're going next. And then we'll go on to another person. <laughs> in London, so, nobody's got an apple. I've got apples. 